when you want it so bad, if you want something bad enough, you know, A Course in Miracles helps us realize that if we don't want it bad enough, then it just might not come into our world. If you want it so bad, if you truly want something bad enough, you will do what it takes to accomplish it. Wouldn't you agree? Many are afraid to go for the highest levels, but they still want it so bad. Does this, does this sound uh, familiar at all? Hello everyone, this is James Nussbaumer, and in my second book of the series called Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, Lessons from A Course in Miracles, we deeply explore why, on the other hand, there are those who have the God-given talent, the right skills, and most of what it takes, maybe just about all of what it takes, but for whatever reason, they just don't want it bad enough. Have you seen this before? Can you relate to this? A Course in Miracles teaches us that the world you see is what you gave it, nothing more than that. As I discussed in a previous video blog article, an article also on my website about my friend and excellent golfer, John Phillips, he continued to let me understand in his own unique way why turning professional as a golfer and heading for the PGA Tour was just not for him even though others were urging him, urging him to do so. He and I continued to play a lot of good golf together, even away from our usual Monday and Thursday golf league. But the more we hung out together on great golf courses all over the, the Tampa Bay area in Florida, the better friends we became. I found our time together very, very rewarding, as well as indirect lessons about if you want something bad enough. What I mean is we could, we were able to confide in each other and would often do so much about more than our, our good, bad, and ugly golf rounds. But we, we discussed a little bit about giving professional golf a shot. We shared feelings about our children, wives, ex-wives, marital problems, relationship problems, businesses, money magnetism, the economy and its markets, religion, racial matters, and even the possibility of world peace, believe it or not, which would lead us into lengthy discussions on politics. You name it, we hashed it out. Between the two of us, we actually figured out a way to solve world hunger, as well as a solution for the homeless population. Yes, we figured it out. I once asked John to please expand on his answer confidentially to me as to why he would not at least give professional golf a shot. I asked if the rumors were true that he didn't believe he could actually step it up, so to speak, with the players on the big PGA golf tour. John knew that he could trust me, and it was about not wanting it bad enough. He smiled with a slight chuckle and told me that for sure he certainly did believe that that he could survive and make a living on the, on the pro golf tour. But he also asked me to think about all those aged old adages and lessons, those sayings that we've heard before that correspond with, if you want something bad enough. And <clears throat> then he went on to tell me why he simply did not want it bad enough. When I asked him why he didn't want it, he told me softly in his soft spoken demeanor, Jimmy says, you must understand, for me, I do believe that once I, once I would step it up to that level of play on the big tour, that I know that I could make a good living on the PGA golf tour. Well, on seeing my confused but still interested expression, he then explained what I truly wanted to hear. He said, you see, Jim, for me to make it happen, I would have to give golf my absolute best commitment and devotion. I would have to make it become my life. And I know that in my heart that I'm not willing to do that. Then he added that, you know, if you want something bad enough, one must be willing to do what it takes. And I'm not willing to do that once again. He added that he'd then never, never be truly ready to sink those long needed important putts when under extreme, extreme pressure. 
wanting it so bad. You know, I interrupted John and I asked if he could just have fun. I said, John, couldn't you just have fun at it and not concern yourself too much with winning and the work that's involved with it? And he stopped me right there. He says, oh, hold up, Jim, let me finish. In other words, Jim, I, he said, I know what it would take from me. There would be a price involved, a sacrifice of certain personal things that I don't care to mention. And this I know is not the path I truly want to travel on. Well, it seemed to me he was wasting a God-given talent, like many others had thought the same way. But it was surely not for me to judge him on this. Regardless, I can say that the honesty John showed me was inspiring, very inspiring. And his unnecessary explanation of what he truly wanted so bad was more than enough to, sat, to satisfy any further curiosity that I might have over the matter. He helped me, John helped me to more clearly understand that if you want something bad enough, if you truly want something bad enough, then it will manifest. But if you don't want it so bad, it's like what A Course in Miracles states. If it's not your true free will, then it was never a part of the creation. And that makes a lot of sense. In other words, if it's not really what's in your heart, if, you, if it's not what you want all the way, 1,000%, then it was never created in the first place. That conversation actually tightened John and I's friendship and a great relationship that I'll be expanding on more in future uh, video blogs. If you've enjoyed this video, please click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to also subscribe to my Everyday Miracles Mastermind Newsletter, the link to my safe website is down below. My safe website, blog, my self-help library, and more is here below in the description box of this YouTube video. Now, if you're already at my blog and you're watching this video, then uh, on the menu of my website, click on the self-help library and hop on over there and see if there's anything there that, that may just spark your interest or enlighten you. In my newsletter is where we, you the reader, and I the author, we bring our minds together for self-success in a much better world. And I hope you decide to live in this world by pursuing it when you want it so bad. You know, if you want something bad enough just by going after it, <laughs> Well, I hope this uh, thought-provoking video made some sense to you, and I hope you benefited from it. I hope to see you up the road someday at a future event, or maybe at one of my book signings. And if I'm in your area, please approach me and let me know that you've read my blog or, or watched my videos. Thanks for watching this and putting up with me for these few short minutes. I wish the best for you, your family, and all the, all the success in the world. Thanks again, and God bless.